Sleep's about creating an atmosphere. My analogy is to, we're trying to build a church wherever we go. We, we, we're trying to immerse people in that idea of, of being surrounded by in a big reverberant space. We've always done sleep in auditoriums. So the idea of doing sleep outdoors was incredibly challenging. I, I immediately thought, well, actually, what we need here is, is something like soundscape. There is something about music performance which builds community. It's a sort of shared ritual, you know, we're going on a shared journey. And uh, yeah, it does seem to have a kind of gravitational pull. And obviously the, you know, the immersive uh, feeling of the, the sound presentation is, is a big part of that, actually. We have a string quintet, two violins, viola, two cellos. Max plays the piano. And we have a solo soprano voice. Your eyes actually do your listening for you, generally. But once you're asleep, of course, you can do anything you like. So, of course, I want to bring that off stage and, and start enveloping people. The soundscape world allows us to go into a different domain with actually another layer of reverberation because one of the, the principal advantages of, of, of soundscape are these convolution reverbs that have been developed and are extremely good. The sort of fidelity of, of, of the space that you can create now with this is, is quite astonishing. Nearly every project that he develops does want to have a sort of widescreen approach. He writes a lot for movies. He's used to working in that 5.1 domain. Soundscape is, is now sort of allowing the live sound environment to, to try and uh, exploit that same approach. I think my role in this one has been sort of a facilitator. Immediately I was drawn or uh, interested in the, the complexity and, and the challenge of putting together some sort of an immersive experience for people while they sleep. I found it fascinating. I love this type of multi-channel discrete mixing. I love the idea of um, patron experience being above and beyond anything they can get at home, in the car, or anywhere else. Sleep is a very quiet piece, and it just sits there 75 dB all night. So how do you, how do you project, or give everybody the impression of 75 dB over a, over a 200 meter space? It's not like we're putting a few arrays up that are sizable arrays. No, we have a lot of small arrays or single boxes. And each of those boxes um, requires a special clamp or a special yoke and a special attention for how to mount and locate it. And Glenn um, from Audio West, Glenn Hatch, has had as much experience and knowledge of the product and access to the product as anybody, but he's also been a DMB you know, user himself for several years, so um, he's a great resource, actually. In a sense, what this system is, is a big instrument, you know, uh, and it has tremendous flexibility uh, in terms of presenting places, you know, which are sort of either distant somewhere else, you're not in, synthesizing it. It's rather wonderful, actually. We started off with the, with the quintet, string quintet on stage, mic'd up, they started playing, I just noodled around a bit, and then we opened it up, and oh my god. I mean, it was, I, I'm getting goose pimples now, because I could not believe how the separation was so exquisite, extraordinary. Um, you know, it wasn't loud, it didn't need to, it wasn't about that, it was just about where you could interpret where they were coming from. And I'm, I'm 30 meters from the stage, and we've got 50 meters of, of loudspeaker here, so how, how are we doing this? And yet they still feel like they're a quintet. You know, it still feels like chamber music, but it's there, and that separation was just, oh my goodness. I mean, they are exceptionally good musicians, and you know, it, everything sounds great with great musicians, right? But this, this moment was, it's not just pan, you know, you're, not, you're not getting any um, of that. The, the, the word is cancellation, I suppose, that you, you know, suddenly everything is really autonomous. It's a much more natural experience. It's the experience that we all know, we all take away from the concert hall.